He said, what do you do? I said, I work at a winery. He said, how many there? I said, two people. He said, how many acres you've got? I said, a hundred. He said, I don't believe you. Are you Frank Osborne's son? I said, yes. All I wanted to do was to work with Dad. I was doing the wages and the books and everything at a very young age. And uh, vintage time was a great challenge because you'd, you'd be working flat out, but you also had to pay 10 or 15 pickers and make out that pay in pound shillings and pence and get the right change from the bank to fit in the envelopes and of course making the wine too. Dad didn't ever do any of that. I just made the wine. I learned it the hard way from all my neighbours and everything helped me. So I really was working very hard. You know, I built the business up really and developed it and then Chester came in in the 80s and we gradually, he took over and I resisted the cube, you know, for many years because I knew it was it was going to cost 11 million or something and I didn't want to spend that sort of money and uh, it's cost about 16 so I made that right decision and it's still going. No doubt that it's created a huge interest in, uh, as Chester knew it would. Chester's a very uh, outgoing, happy sort of a character. I might mention a magnificent staff here which makes the company what it is today. I think you've got to be busy, yeah. I'm glad I've got to do something every day. It keeps me going. You know, I don't do much, just get the mail and read the paper a lot and uh, meet lots of people. Yeah, so it's been a long journey.